Have you ever had a sense of paranoia, like somebody's watching you or someone's listening in on your every conversation? And I ask this because a couple of days ago, well, a couple of weeks ago, I should say, I was having a conversation with my mate Dave about dash cams, like the pros, the cons, and we were talking about this woman that had been accused of running a red light, breaking the speed limit, and causing an accident. But her dash cam proved otherwise, even though two witnesses, two eyewitnesses, said that she'd run the red light and that she was speeded in and she caused an accident. Her dash cam proved that she was one, not breaking the speed limit, and two, she didn't run a red light. And basically, she didn't get prosecuted. But if it wasn't for her dash cam, she would have got prosecuted for running a red light and dangerous driving and causing an, causing an accident. So that's what got us talking, me and Dave. Anyway, that very night, I get an email from a company asking me if I want to do a review on a dash cam. Ah, oh, it's a bit spooky, isn't it? So anyway, I had no choice but to say, yeah, I'll do a review on your dash cam. Send me one. Because I was thinking of buying one anyway. So this is what I've got. I've got this Mola N3 DDPI dash camera with built-in GPS and that's the thing I like about this because it has got built-in GPS it tracks your speed and it comes up with the speed on the screen which I think is quite an important feature um, so yeah I'm gonna do a review about this dash cam coming right up <laughs> Let's take a look at what we get in the box. We get our dash cam, which is a HD high definition camera as well, um, to give you crystal clear pictures. It's also got a memory card slot there. It's a SD micro or mini, a micro SD micro card goes in the side, and this allows it to record on a continuous loop. At the base is a sticky pad one. It's a sticky pad, not one of these suction cup ones, which I rather like. I guess the downside of this is that you can't take it from one car to another, which I kind of would have liked. I would have liked to be able to take the dash cam out and take it and put it in a truck when I'm truck driving. Um, but that's fine. This was free, so it's going to be fitted in my camper. Um, I think I've just done that around the wrong way. Which way around? Oh yeah, look. It goes. That's front facing like that, so it goes against my glass. So this sticks on your glass, your cable plugs into there, and it does come with a really long cable. I mean, this cable's got to be twice my span of my arms, so I'm six foot, so this is about 12 foot long, this cable, which is plenty long enough. Now, I think you're supposed to put your dash cam up high, but because I've got a sun visor, I don't know if that's gonna work. Will it work up there? It should do, shouldn't it? Be out of my way as well. Right, so I'm going to stick this up there. Um, I'm going to need to clean my glass. And to clean my glass, I'm going to use my alcohol hand wipe stuff to clean the glass with. Should work, shouldn't it? I mean, sanitises your hands. So a little drop of that. I'm going to quickly clean this glass up there. Oh yeah, nice and squeaky. Squeaky clean as they say. I don't know if this is going to work. But don't worry because in the box you get a spare sticky pad. So if this doesn't work, it'll be okay. Also in the box, I must mention, also in the box there's this pry tool. And this is to pry your plastic trim so you can poke the wire all the way around the dashboard into your cigarette light socket. Oh, talking about cigarette lighter socket, it comes with a USB adapter as well, which plugs into your 12 volt cigarette lighter socket. Very nifty. And it's a twin one as well, so I can plug this in and my sat nav. Right, so let's stick this to the window and then I'll download the app on my phone and we'll run through all the features of this dash cam. Now I've actually taken my side trim off to run the cable down, down there because I think I can actually put the cable down past the dashboard and underneath into my charge socket. <laughs> Obviously you don't have to do this, this is a bit extreme. Um, 
but I do intend keeping this van for an awful long time so I want everything to be right so that cable is going to go down now hopefully I'll be able to grab it from underneath yep. right. now I'm just going to get some cable ties put that in place and then put that panel back on sorry about the road noise yeah that tool that come that came with a little tool done with it this little pry tool actually come in handy to get that off so yeah well done good, good little tool that i'll keep that in my toolbox right so i'm gonna get some tires actually i might be able to just poke it around yeah oh there you go i don't even need any cable ties that'll stay in place oh maybe i should yeah, I'm going to get some cable ties, tie this cable to these existing cable and then tidy it up underneath around my foot well straight into my plug socket. This cable is yeah, it's plenty long enough to do this so uh, well done. Well the installation was really really simple, I mean <laughs> so simple anybody can do it. If you can build a camper van you can certainly install one of these webcams. So the webcam's up there, I used my hand sanitizer to clean the glass and it worked really well. I think that is stuck fast. I think I've got it a little bit crooked but never mind, it doesn't matter. Um, so the camera's stuck up there, the cable I've run up, traced it all the way along now, down my post, underneath my dashboard, over my steering column, over all my pedals and I've got the cable coming out here. Um, I, I did have to undo one screw right down there but um, nevertheless it's all very very neat and now I'm going to plug it into my 12 volt socket I don't know if you can see this can you see that there's a 12 volt this is permanent this socket it's permanently live um, for the sake of this video I'm going to plug it in here rather than my cigarette light socket because if I plug it into my cigarette light socket I need to turn my ignition on so let's plug that in see what happens <laughs> it said hello ding ding pie there you go <laughs> I'll take it from there it's working right so now I need to download the app onto my phone so uh, let's download the app right so now I need to connect the app on my phone to that and I'll do that via Wi-Fi right so let's have a look it's a really good app because it does give you instructions as well on how to do it Look, next password oh the password is got it right turn it on GPS connected oh there you go GPS is connected well, now what do I do go back to the app connecting camera save trip data to cloud okay whatever that is Right, so the camera is black. Oh look, it's just a blank screen. I go to the camera. Oh, it says downloading. Oh, I just took a photo. <laughs> right, I'm going to play with this for a minute, and I'll get back to you and let you know how it goes. Yeah, I can just see my windscreen wipers, so. I think that's in the right angle. Right, let's go for a little drive and see what happens. Let's take a little look. Right, I'm going to switch you off. Go for a little drive, see what happens. Well, I've been for a little drive. Um, I've got to say, I'm quite impressed. The picture quality on my phone is quite good. And not only does it give you... It gives you a lot of information. I mean, it does give you a hell of a lot of information. It's got a little map there that's tracked my route. Um, it's got the picture at the top. And if I hold my phone sideways... The picture gets bigger and it gives me my speed uh, my heading it's got a little compass it even tells me my altitude um, yeah and the picture does look really good so what I'm gonna do at the end of this video I'll put this clip I'll add this clip to the end in, in big picture just so you can see the quality of the picture because it's HD after all so uh, it'll be a shame not to so there you go that's the camera I think personally it's a great bit of kit we've just started playing that's strange. Yeah, I still need to figure out how this works properly. I think I'll press play by mistake when I shut my phone. 
Right, anyway, so if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're interested in buying one of these dash cams, I will put a link in the description of this video. And they have got a sale on, so uh, I think it's 65% off. Yeah, go and grab one. Grab a bargain. I recommend it. Ta-da for now. Having a dash cam is quite an easy piece of equipment in our day and age. I mean, they're available, the technology is available, so why not take advantage of that technology? Yeah, it makes sense really, doesn't it? <laughs> Bear with me, hang on, I'll cut this out. Wi-Fi is off.